Hello, peace and mercy be above you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we will make a jump game. This game, we will make it by block based programming. Block based programming by in block. We can make the same programming by something like Scratch. It will not be um, like, n not, nothing will be changed. It will be the same. But let's go now to in block and begin this game. Before we begin the game, I want you to know what we will do. We will make a jump game. We will make this sprite or this man jump above this brick. And this brick is going from the right of the screen until the left of the screen and after it reach the end or the edge of the screen, it will begin from the beginning again and again and again. Hello, la 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 la. Before we go to continue, we we'll continue to make the game. Let's see how to download the IDE that we will make the game inside it. The IDE is mblock. We will just write in the Google download mblock and we will go to this the first page, download page, and after that we will go down, choose if you want the web version, but I don't recommend it. PC version, yes, I recommend it, and also another versions as you see. Okay, so I will go to make block pc version windows or mac block this is the version 5.4.3 i don't recommend recommend this uh, version because it's not good enough we have some bugs so just go to previous version and you will find 5.4.0 yes this one i recommend it so much download it for mac or for windows for me it's windows so i will click windows download after that it will begin downloading now it's finished you will find it like that just click and yes after that it will install and block is running click ok to close it because i am running it already in my computer after that you will click finish and everything is okay if something like that appears just click install and click finish now you can open it let's go hello everybody before we begin or continue the video let's go to how to contact me and book courses with me or book work like system analysis work for example you can contact me in whatsapp number or this is my facebook account personal account and this is my student guide academy my academy account this is the academy page and this is my facebook page this link whatsapp number and you will get directed to the whatsapp number i wait you let's continue let's begin our game first we will go to in block as you know and we will go to file new after we click new we will uh, delete this device and go to sprites and also we will delete this banda sprite and we will get another sprite like the man that we see in the photo we will go to background and choose appropriate background natural for example or go to nature here just to the catalog and nature and choose one of them yeah this one for example and we will choose a sprite we will choose this man or anything else anything appropriate yeah this man or this boy and we will choose the, the break also it's from icons you will find it here game element yeah yeah now we can make the screen of the design bigger to put every sprite in the right position and also to reduce the size you can go to size and make it 20 instead of 100 or make it 40 if if 20 is so small 30 is enough yeah 30 is good and we will put it in the beginning of the screen the right side because we will program it to move from the right side to the left side and so on now we have the x and y x and y is the position the positioning so everything have x and y we want to make this event wing green flag clicked 
we want the boy to be in this position this exact position and this exact exact position uh, we will make it go to x and y x minus 180 and y minus 59 it's by default written inside it if we want to change this position we can change it uh, manually but our ha by our hands just to go to the x go to x and we write the right position or the right x and also do the y and change it now we want to make a specific move for example like going to the right side right side we want that to happen when we click right arrow from the keyboard so we will go to event when right arrow key pressed and after that go to move we want it or we want to move the boy to the right side so we will change x because x is the horizontal axis we can change the horizontal axis x by positive to make it go to the right or negative to make it go to the left so we will change x by positive positive number like positive 10 for example or positive 5 as we want if we want it to move faster or move uh, longer we can change more like increase the value change x by 10 we can try click the green flag and make the screen bigger and click the right arrow from the keyboard and see what will happen it's moving to the right as you see here you see every time i click the surrounded area of the blocks become blue uh, not blue become yellow as you see every time it uh, it appear or it uh, implemented uh, the surrounded area of the blocks become yellow now i will go to the left left will also change the same axis the x because it's horizontal also but this time i will change x by negative number so it will be minus 10 and i will make the event when left arrow clicked or key pressed for your information the event is the action that i do you can consider it action and after that something happened like when green flag clicked when i click the green flag when right arrow clicked or key pressed when left arrow key pressed it's action and after it something happened or uh, uh, not uh, some programming um, happened now i want to make the jump the jump is two acts like two things two important things first you will go up and after that you will go down again or the boy will go up and after that will go down again and i want it to go down slower than going up i will make it also here so two things here not just one to move in the y axis y axis is like vertical up and down so i will change by y so when space key pressed change y by 10 this will make it go up move positive make it go up and negative go down so when i click the key the space now as you see it's going up going up going up but i don't want i don't want it to be like that i want it to be going up and after that going down again so i will make change y by minus 10 and let's see nothing will happen i click I click the space but nothing happened because I I program it to do something and to to do the opposite of it in the same time so nothing will happen so what should I do here I should use the looping I want to make some steps up and after that some steps down so I will repeat the change y by 10 positive 10 for five times for example and after it finish the five times i will repeat it but by negative five times also so it will go up five steps and go down five steps after finishing going up so concentrate here and you will see what will i do right now i will go to control and repeat repeat is the loop repeat for 10 times or 5 times is enough i think 
let's see and try change y by 10 so when i click the space it go up five times five times every time by 10 by 10 uh, values or value like like what you see right now after that i want it to go back down the same thing i will do the same thing but i will just change the value to be negative 10 not positive 10 as you see here i duplicate it and take it after that put it under it now i will change it by negative i will just put the negative yeah the minus and let's try now you see what happened you see yeah this is good by the way this is so good until now if i want it to go down slower than going up i will just put wait wait here so every time it repeat the minus 10 changing y by minus 10 it will wait for like 0.1 part of the second or 0.01 so it's so so little amount of time but it will make it like slower when it going down like what you see now um yeah just concentrate and see what will happen when i click the space key you see yeah now it's good if i want to change it to make it bigger or if i make the value here bigger the boy will be slower in going down yeah as you see here yeah it's good as you want just program it as you want you are the programmer now it's good i make it 0 0.05 of one second because one is one second 0 0.05 is five percent of second of a second okay now i finish almost everything here in the boy programming i will go to program the break to make it move from the right side to the left side but before i continue i can put some sound when it like jump make this sound i will put this sound the boop sound if i want to change it i can change it also here from the sprites costumes under the costume i will find sound you will see right now just concentrate of what i am doing right now here i put uh, start sound when i press space key it will start this sound when i go to sounds here i will find the sound that i have if i have i want to add another i just search about it and find it jump here and now i will use jump just click the arrow down arrow and choose jump as you hear now you hear if you don't hear it's a problem from the recording but it's appearing i hear it okay now i went to the prank i will make the screen of the design of the design screen bigger and put the prank in the right exact position in the beginning and this exact position in the beginning i will see when i put the prank i will see the x and y axis in the options of the sprites you will see right now just concentrate now I want it to move when I click the green flag so I will say when green flag clicked forever I go to control and I choose forever forever is looping but forever as long as the game is working or running and after that I will choose go to a specific place this specific place is the beginning place and after that I will choose glide glide will move the brick from the specific place to another place and this other place i just put the brick in the other place and see the x and y and put the x and y here and by the way the difference between the go to go to x and y or glide to x and y go to will make the sprite disappear and after that appear in the specific place but glide will make the sprite move from this this exact place or the, the current place to the new position or the new place moving gradually so i want it to move gradually not disappear and appear so i used glide so in the beginning it will be in the right side of the screen that's why i said go to x and y and i put the x and y after that i said glide to x and y to the left side of the screen 
and when it go to the left side of the screen it will begin from the beginning again and again and again because I make loop so it will repeat itself if I choose here repeat instead of forever it will not be good because maybe it will stop after finishing the times like the fixed time repeat for fixed time that's why I choose forever forever will uh, repeat itself and, uh, and time and uh, after time after time after time until the game end or stop and that's what I want by the way now I want to program something when the boy touch touch the brick something happen or he lose for example and if he didn't touch it or jump over over it and didn't touch it okay so it's okay he will not lose so now I will make the losing I will say when green flag clicked forever again start sound no 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 it's not about losing here it's about a specific music in the background this music is like cracking the music of or the sound of the moving of the brick so I will choose uh, sound as you see and search about it crack and take it hmm, yeah or crank yeah you can hear it right now it's working and as you see it's surrounded by yellow color this mean it's working both of them working because when I click the green flag everything uh, everything I have the event when green flag clicked will work exactly or directly after I click the green flag and when I click stop it stop now I will use this touching from the sensing so I want the boy if the boy touch the brick he will lose and the game will stop okay so how can I know that the boy touch the brick I can know it by this block from sensing category it's called touching touching and I will choose in spite so I will choose this block and I will also use the if condition if condition is something that I can put a condition inside it if this condition true the programming will happen if the condition is not true the programming will not happen so concentrate with me and know how I do it now I will choose win green flag clicked And I will choose forever. So anytime he touch the break inside any time in the game. So I choose forever to make sure that any time in the game that happened, it will stop the game. And after that, inside the forever, I will choose if condition as I said to you. And I will choose the constraint or the condition to be touching. I will put it inside the if. And touching what? Touching the boy. I am programming the brick now. So I say if the brick touching the boy 18, I choose the name of the boy. What will happen here? A lot of things will happen. You will see now. For example, stop the game. This one of the things that will happen. And also change the costume. Yeah, I want to change the background to be like loose. Something like that. So I make duplicate the background and I will change here. I will write something like you lose, for example, or anything refer to losing game over for yeah, game over. And I will rename it to be game over. So I can change it. When the brick um, touch the boy, 
it will change the screen to game over screen as you see and in the beginning I want it to be the normal one again okay so concentrate of what I will do right now it's important things so I go to locks and in locks I will find switch backdrop 2 and I will choose game over so this will make the background change to be game over background that I designed right now after that I will wait for a specific time so little amount of time like one um, tenth or point one of the second and after that stop all stop all the game easy busy you see now I jump I jump I jump again and when I touch everything stops and also the screen change to be game over good until now but when I begin the game from the beginning game over didn't go gaming game over didn't go while I'm playing how can I want the game over to go when I begin the, the game from the beginning again so how can I do it I can do it by putting the green flag when I because the game flag is the beginning of the game and I will say switch backdrop to the normal background uh, drop so when I click the uh, I will choose the, the normal one it's uh, called outstrikes uh, the same name I will go to the costumes of the background and see the name yeah outstrikes or outskirts and after that I will choose it as you see here so when I green uh, I click the green flag everything will change to the normal and when it touch everything will change to the game of easy busy hello everybody before we begin or continue the video let's go to how to contact me and book courses with me or book work like system analysis work for example you can contact me in whatsapp number or this is my facebook account personal account and this is my student guide academy my academy account this is the academy page and this is my facebook page this link whatsapp number and you will get directed to the whatsapp number i wait you let's continue 